Hey everyone, it's Steve here at the DJ Lab. Take a look at the Denon DJ SC Live 4 running virtual DJ because you asked for it. So here it is. Let me just uh, focus in and adjust things. Always a shoddy camera work here. But, um, okay. You can kind of see how it's all laid out. Real simple. You know, you have the same. Let me just do this again. Let me. So yeah, you got, you know, the same stuff where you can go in here, you can change the size of your font because it is a smaller screen, so you might want to crank it up. Um, you have all of that. You have, what else we got going on here that we have access to? It's actually looks like it's this particular one is a little bit different because it doesn't seem like it jumps right back automatically. Once you've been on that screen for so long, it will jump back. Here, it doesn't look like, um... oh, there we go. Yes, we do. We got access to the sampler. You got your folders. Everything's there. And most important about this whole thing is that it's actually using the internal speakers through this whole system. So with Virtual DJ, you're just telling this thing to you know use the system and it will use the internal speakers. I don't think, last time I checked, maybe I'm wrong, correct me if I am, but I think when I was running um, Serato with this thing, it was not using the internal speakers. So that's kind of interesting. Um, and then of course with stems, you see all your stems on the screen and you can touch them, or of course you can use your pads, whichever you prefer. And then with your uh, effects, this is really cool too. So the effects, you know, you have your, uh, your knob there is controlling that on the screen. And when you're flipping through, you're seeing on your screen every effect that you have. Man, if I could just figure out a better camera system, I'd be laughing. So when you flick, it tells you channel two, channel three, channel four, it tells you what your thing is on. And that's what's really cool too. If you notice, check this out. So it remembers what effect you had on each channel. Or does it? Um, yeah, I think it kind of does. Pitch, make that the filter, make that the... Oh no, it doesn't really. That's weird. Filter, scratch DNA, filter, slice DNA. Yeah, yeah, it does. So it actually has a, a memory to know what effect you had on one channel versus the other. So that's pretty cool. Everything else is exactly how you would expect it. Uh, we got control deck three and four, of course. Just by hitting the stuff. And um, well, if you hit the lighting button there, it just kind of opens things up a little bit. I don't know why you want to bother. You kind of want to see what's on the screen here for as I'm concerned. So yeah, once again, Virtual DJ runs better on this thing than uh, Serato runs, that's for sure. And in some ways, it almost kind of runs better than this thing runs as a standalone player. What can I tell you? Virtual DJ is the king of stems right now. I'll say it again and again and again. Serato, you need to catch up. And once again, I'm also going to say that this Dead and DJ SC Live 4 is a definite buy. It's not cheap quality. Um, don't let the price tag fool you. It's built nice and solid. Sure, you don't have as big a screen, but that's fine. It's still quite usable, and I got bad eyes. We all know this. Uh, the jog wheels feel good. Okay, I'm missing the album artwork. Who needs it? You know what I mean? I just need to know BPM, time, simple stuff, right? When I switch over to deck four, it tells me I'm on deck four as well. Yeah, that's it. Hope this helped, and uh, if you have any more questions about this, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and you know you got to hit the alert button so when new videos come out, you know what's going on. Talk to you all soon. Have a great one.